Well, I don't think I really chose my field. It seems to me that my field chose me. <laughs> I started my scientific journey in Cameroon. I, I did have my secondary education in Boya. And uh, I got very interested in uh, solving health-related problems. Uh, but when I went to school, normally you think I would, I would be interested in biology, but I found biology to be a bit difficult at the time, and uh, maths was very easy to me, so I would focus more on maths. And uh, I became uh, popular among the students because of that, and that encouraged me to continue with mathematics. And uh, I did that until I went to the university and uh, continued with maths, computer science, and physics. And then I came back to my senses. I wrote a test. Uh, it's uh, like a, a cognitive test. And based on the results, I got a scholarship which allowed me to go to the US to study medicine. But when I went there, I realized that I could have many ways in which I could apply mathematics to solve the problems that really interested me. And so I went to Princeton to do advanced studies in the applications of math. And uh, from Princeton, uh, my studies at Princeton were mostly theoretical. I needed to complement this with some practical experience. So I went to Israel where I collaborated uh, with uh, experimental scientists and together we developed a technology that allows one to to see uh, certain sensors, to create pictures of certain sensors found in our bodies, and these sensors are called T cell receptors. So I've always had this strong interest in solving health-related problems. Even though I ran away from biology for a while, I eventually came back to it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure exactly what uh, caused me um, to be so interested in this, in this field, but it's always been there. So the puzzle that I solved is called original antigenic sin. So normally if you're infected by a pathogen, your immune system mobilizes certain soldiers to fight it. Now, if you're infected by a pathogen, after being infected by another one that's related to the current pathogen, then your immune system fails to mobilize enough army soldiers to fight it. So you become less protected against that pathogen. In fact, the soldiers that are mobilized mostly recognize the previous pathogen than the current one. So you have weakened immunity. And so to solve the problem, I had to imagine the activities of these different kinds of soldiers. There are those that fight the pathogen, and there are those that make sure the ones that fight don't go overboard. They don't harm you instead. And it's by considering this, the balance between the activities of these two kinds of soldiers that I was able to uh, solve the puzzle. So a puzzle like this is important for us to know because it helps us to understand why sometimes we become sick even when we believe we shouldn't be sick. And by that kind of understanding can help us to solve, uh, uh, to prevent, to protect us against illnesses, to improve uh, the vaccines that we use uh, to protect us from uh, infections and to develop better drugs. So knowledge is really power in this case. So my solution could be useful for improving the design of vaccines because it suggests specific substances that you can incorporate into vaccines to improve their effectiveness, to make them more resistant to the effects of this original antigenic sin. So the next challenge that I'm uh, trying to solve involves developing uh, a model, a mathematical model, that allows me to play forward the dynamics of these different soldiers that help to protect us against diseases. It's complicated because you have billions of these soldiers grouped into millions of different types, and they interact with each other, and they interact also with other components in our body. And the challenge is to develop a theory uh, that would be initialized, uh, instantiated in, uh, in the form of a model that we could use to play forward the composition of these soldiers over time. In the long term, 
I hope to develop a theory that would allow us to do, answer certain questions in biology, particularly those related to the immune system, the way that physicists um, uh, address their own questions. So physics, physicists have discovered these principles, these laws that they have used to build these beautiful mathematical edifices like uh, quantum theory, like uh, general relativity. And that allows them to answer so many different kinds of questions. But in biology, we lack these kinds of frameworks, these big theories. And because of that, progress in biology is much, much slower. At least in the case of the immune system, I think it is possible to develop theories with similar predictive power. And that's my, the long-term challenge uh, I intend to uh, address.